these students are under attack. Pigeons have infested every nook and cranny of their house, creating a deadly cocktail of fungus and parasites. Mike calls in his best men to take down the threat. I just got a call from Mike. Uh, apparently it's a pretty bad uh, pigeon problem. I guess it calls for cleaning up the, uh, all the pigeon droppings and doing some pigeon exclusion. Yeah, Mike said it's a pretty unsanitary situation. We never know what we get, but uh, usually pigeon jobs are nasty. We've done a couple jobs with pigeons. So it's, it, there, it's real nasty, so they say it's real bad. It, the guys on the job, it's going to be uh, Santos, Joe Valle, Sam, Chris, and myself. That's how we do it. We show up in a big team. Everyone handles a uh, certain part of the house. Everyone knows their job. Everyone's moving, and, you know, we get in and get out. Hey, what's up, Mike? Mike. Hey, guys, we got a big one today, man. Mm -hmm. We got a huge pigeon infestation up in the attic. Up to about 60 pigeons are living up there. We got pigeon nests, so first thing is, is I need a volunteer that's going to go up into the attic first. Anyone? I'll go. I'll do it. All right, Gary. Gary will handle the extraction of baby pigeons still in the attic. There's about four nests, two in the front, two in the back. We'll pull those out. We'll bring them over to the Humane Society. What I need is somebody to fog the attic because it is just loaded with mites. I mean, loaded, out of control. All right, Joe, you got that? Joe will take out thousands of bird mites with the Actisol fogging unit. I need a team down here. And what I'd like to do is get all this area cleaned up, power wash oh, that's it. that's me, Mike. That's you, okay. Santos will power wash the exterior to eliminate layers of bird droppings, then deploy bird spikes to keep the pigeons away. Last thing we have left is in the uh, hallway of the apartment. There's about a three foot section, a uh, ceiling drywall that just totally came down. So literally you can see up into the attic and the mites are literally coming down into these guys' homes. So we need to get that restuccoed and just looking nice. Yeah. Okay, you break your stuff. Once treatment begins, this house will be a toxic battlefield. Looks like we're moving in the right direction. Santos, I can already hear on the roof doing the power washing, which is great. Um, we still got some visitors up there. We're going to have to scare off. <laughs> That's a fat one, too. Look at Potatoes on the side. Just some gravy. Are these birds? I'm going to take them to the Humane Society. Okay, we'll give you a new home. After this, we're going to go eat lunch, though. You see why? See this. Outside, the massive cleaning effort has gotten the attention of a neighbor. I'm so happy that you guys are cleaning this mess from the pigeons. I have a new truck and it just bothers me that I have to go get it washed every week. Next, Sam and Gary head into the attic to tackle the toughest job. We're going to go on up there and uh, go ahead and start the cleaning process. Oh, Very nice. Go on. Scrape? No, I'll, you'll scrape on vacuum. Okay. It trickles down, you know, up here. <laughs> <laughs> There's no easy way to clean build up this intense. It's extremely hard work in a wasteland of filth. Before this job is done, Sam and Gary will remove five bags of pigeon droppings, nests, and carcasses. Cleanup completed. 
The entire team moves on to the final phase of treatment. We're done cleaning. Now we're just doing all pigeon exclusion. Um, Gary's doing all the uh, exclusion work around these openings, and then Santos is doing the spikes on the outside. He's doing the spikes. You can see the spikes on the outside, that little ledge. They're going to come in, they try to rest on that little ledge on the outside. They sit on that little spike. If they can't, they fly away. needs now is a little patchwork and a lot of air freshener. When I walked up there, it was just unbelievable that anybody could live here. It's just disgusting. You can't have it. It's a health violation, a health hazard, and you just can't have it. So, you know, now here, look at it. It took a crew team to, uh, you know, try to just put this back together, you know, so slowly, surely it's coming back together. By the time the job is done, the cost of treatment exceeded $4,000. But it's a small price to pay to eliminate the dire health risks. Good work. What do you guys think? Perfect. It's working? It's good. You know why I know it's working? Look what's up there. They, they just got evicted. It feels cleaner already when we walk in the house. It doesn't smell. All, all of our worries about the diseases and all the insects and, the, and all that stuff is, is a lot like, better now. So. We'll sleep amazing tonight. <laughs>